Hey, this is Mr. Wegman. Uh, we're going to talk really quickly about exponents. We've been doing uh, a lot of work with exponents in our expanded form, and I uh, just want to touch base on exponents really quickly and make sure we understand the breakdown of exponents. Exponents really just follow a pattern. Um, if you look at 10 to the 0, that's the first one of the pattern. That really just means 1. Um, anything to the exponent of 0 is always 1. So no matter what you've got with an exponent of 0, it'll always be 1. Next in the pattern here is 10 to the first, and that is 10. You really, uh, a couple things to notice. There's a 1 as the exponent. You've got 1, 0, and the number, and 10 is just there one time. Uh, you'll get that pattern here in a second. When you go to the next one in the pattern, 10 to the second, what we're really saying when we have this exponent, the 2 is the exponent, you're talking about this is your base and this is your exponent. And what we're really talking about here is the exponent tells how many times the base is multiplied by itself. So we're not multiplying the base by 2. 2 is telling us that we multiply this base by itself two times. So what we're really saying here is 10 times 10. Okay, and 10 times 10 equals 100. So 10 to the second equals 100. Next in the pattern would be 10 to the third. Okay, so what we're really saying here is, again, 3 is our exponent, so we're saying 10 times 10 times 10, which equals 1,000. Thinking about a couple of other things in our pattern, notice up here 10 to the first. Well, let's go to this one, 10 to the zero. There's no zeros in this first one. 10 to the first, we've got one zero. 10 to the second, we're multiplying 10 by t 10 times 10, and we've got two zeros in our answer of 100. We notice this one, 10 to the third, multiplying 10 times 10 times 10, and we've got three zeros in our answer. Next in the pattern, 10 to the fourth. That's saying 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. 10, which is 10,000. Really, the pattern just moves on from there. But again, notice 10 to the fourth, 4 is your exponent. It's telling us we have to multiply the base by itself 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 10 by itself 4 times. And then again, notice that we've got 4 zeros in our answer. So we've really been working with, uh, when, we, when we're multiplying by powers of 10, how that changes our answers. But you really need to understand the way these patterns work and, and um, just really how exponents uh, work. There you go.